Hey guys, Jason here for the Love of Tractors, and so I wanted to start a little series, if you will, on how you can make your own detail items for your farm toy display. So, you know, it's the little things that make or break a farm toy display, and um, one of those things, I think, are fuel tanks. Now, so I've got a couple examples here. Now, this is my 3D printed fuel tank. You can see it's got a hollow inside, and and then I ran some hose around it and all this other stuff. But let's say you don't want to plop out the money for one of these on my Shapeways store. How could you make your own quite a bit cheaper? Well, it's real simple. So these tanks right here I made quite a while ago. And I made them out of wooden dowel rods. So you can go, you can get wooden dowels at pretty much any lumber store, any of the big home stores. Uh, probably your farm store will have them. Um, I think uh, just use the size that you prefer, that you want to use, um, that kind of fits your farm the best, and then just cut it to length. Uh, you know, so these are like a two and a half, three inches in length, and I don't know, it's like a, you know, inch dowel or three quarter inch, something like that. Um, you know, you can, the, the point is, you can get the size that's going to work on your farm. Now, you can see here on the camera a little bit, you can see the wood grain. Um, and you know, that's, that's fine. I mean, on the camera up close, it's going to pick it up, but I'll be honest, sitting back, I'm, I'm behind the camera, uh, you know, another, another foot anyway, and I can't see them with my eyes from here. Um, I can't see that graining. So it works out good. So anyway, what I did is I just, uh, took a saw. I, I have like a little, uh, uh, a little scroll saw. I also have a band saw, but I'm pretty sure I use a scroll saw on this one. But, you know, you could cut them with a hand saw if you need to. Or if you're really good, you could cut them with a table saw, although be careful. And if you're young, uh, don't be afraid to get some supervision. There's uh, nothing wrong with that, and safety is the most important thing. So, anyway, cut them to the size you want. And then I just kind of lightly sanded them so that my corners, you can see here, my corners are kind of have a, like a little round edge to them. And then because it's wood, I actually shot some primer over it and then painted, although I think, I really do think you could get away with just painting. Um, you know, it just may take a couple coats. I, I personally prefer spray paint uh, on something like this. It just gives you a little better finish, but you could definitely brush it on and it wouldn't hurt a thing. So uh, it might be a situation where maybe even you have a can of paint laying around at your house and, you know, you could just uh, use that. So now... The little fuel caps. Now, these were done a long time ago. I would I would maybe try to scratch build something out of styrene if I were doing it today, but these do not look bad at all, I think. And all these are are uh, big push pins. Like have you so if you've been to like a lot of restaurants or at least here in rural America or places like that will have these big maps on their wall and they'll have these push pins where you can push in where you're from. And that's all these are. So I got these actually at Walmart. <laughs> and they've got that big red head on there. And then what I did is I took my Dremel and a really small bit and I just drilled straight down. Just just a little bit. And then I cut that push pin and then I put it in there. And actually back when I did these I was using hot glue. <laughs> uh, today I would use super glue or something along those lines. Um, that would just be cleaner looking. And you know, you can see... Uh, right through there. You can kind of see my hot glue. So it's a little messy, but, um, you know, I'm not ashamed of those little things. Now that I, even though I can do them better now, those are things I look back and I learned from and I grew and I uh, got better at. So that's, uh, you know, like I said, that's, that's no big deal to me. I know some guys like their display just has to be perfect, uh, modern, but I kind of like having those reminders of where I came from in the toy building world out there. So anyway, there you go. Now this hose is uh, called Magic Stretch Cord, and I get it at uh, Hobby Lobby usually. You can also find it online, or um, other things you could use are some black fishing line or thread. Um, just basically anything that's kind of small and thin and, and black for a fuel hose, you can use. And I think it turns out well. Now to connect these together, just, uh, just some uh, little strips of wood there. Uh, I kind of did a little file job on the bottom and stuck them in there, um, you know, glued it together. Seems to hold really well. So anyway, I guess that's it guys. So that's a quick and easy look at how to do some fuel tanks. I'm going to take a tractor here. I don't know. Let's take, 
let's take a big beast here. And uh, I guess technically he'd go on. Well, maybe we'll do it this way. Just so you can kind of see to scale what that looks like. So, you know, I think I think that fits really well. I think that's perfect. Now, you can see back here, I built a little uh, uh, container or containment area. And it's got a lot of my chemical and my gas and things like that. Fuel, diesel, all that on there. So, that's something we can talk about in another video. But anyway, I just wanted to give you, I mean, literally just a just a couple bucks in these is all, all that I've got in those. So, it uh, should be affordable for basically anybody. And um, hope it's an easy project for you and a way to kind of get you making a, a farm toy display for yourself. So, all right, guys, as always, thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. Happy tractor hunting and treat each other well. See ya.